What's up guys, welcome back to Jump Behind the Sand here at the Shave Shack. Today I'll be bringing to you guys, the wonderful people over at Southern Witchcrafts, the Bunana. The Bunana, Bunana. This is great. Pick it up while you still can because this is great. And you gotta love the label there. I mean, I love it. Soap. because of the vanilla. With this one right here, we got fresh, realistic banana. Um, maybe like an over-ripened banana is what I get. Bourbon, tobacco, uh, lily, neroli, patchouli, vanilla, musk, pumpkin, and cashmere. In. That's the star obviously is the banana and everything else just falls in. I get the musk, some of the patchouli, the tobacco, and hints of the pumpkin. They all pop out at you once you're shaving. Uh, brush will be the Doppler from PAA. It's the only thing I had that uh, even close to yellow. So. Yeah, I dig this. Really surprised me when they were going the banana route. But it works. Scent strength on this. I've already did a face shave with it. A really quickie head shave. I mean, face shave. But. It was one of those in and outs. Um, the scent on this is very nice. I did put on the leaf pre-shave oil before I started the video up. Soap out of here real quick. Don't like soap on my soap. Don't like proto lather on my soap. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. You see the uh, the other color coming through the bottom there. That's really cool. It may be another color. Who knows? I thought it was going to be solid brown all the way through, but... Oh. Water. I was wearing a uh, newer hoodie and I have little black fuzzies all over my head and it's really annoying the shit out of me but anyway since strength on this is every bit of an 8.5 lathered maybe a 9 I ate out of the container it's really nice it doesn't it's really strange because it is a banana scent, but it doesn't scream just banana. It's got that autumn type vibe behind it with these notes they've put like pumpkin and musk tobacco and the bourbon right behind the banana. It's kind of like a boozy banana. Uh, with Dirtiness, dirtiness, with the musk patchouli in the background, and the vanilla rounds out the sweetness. Rounds out the dirtiness notes, if you will, with the sweetness, inviting scent that matches up with the banana on top. I mean, it's very hard to explain the scent, but don't get me wrong, banana is the star, but you can tell, definitely, definitely tell there's other things in it. Um, would I use it in the summer? Probably, but it wouldn't be like a, I'd probably use, uh, 
some other artisans banana straight banana scent before i'd use this because those scents in the background really make it a fall type scent at least for me and that's what they were going for so kudos for them awesome Make sure I get a really good head shave today. I'm going with the above the tie SB90 with a Repira. Okay. Repira from Russia. Okay. Swedish Super Steel. I believe I'll call that good. Plenty of soap for second pass. Also have matching splash and EDP for this beautiful scent. Highly recommend it uh, if you're tired of the same old um, fall slash Halloween scents. Definitely give this one a try. Like I said, it's gonna fly away because their special editions always fly off the shelf. So if you're interested in it, you better go get it. It's been out for I think four days now. Recording this on the 14th Friday, uh, October 2022. I don't wanna attack this. And this razor right here is so smooth and efficient. It's going to be a great shave. Amazing base as always. Four ounces, um, 20 bucks because it's special edition. All their other soaps are 17 and some change, or maybe 17 even. There's always tax. No, I don't, I don't think they tax. So, it's another thing I like about them they don't tax. They don't do eight, nine, ten dollar shipping for anything you buy. They actually uh like I bought an EDP earlier and it cost me four dollars in shipping. Anywhere else but I bought that at a from an artisan. I'm not talking like third party sellers, I'm talking about from the artisan, it would have been eight plus dollars shipping okay but since it's just an EDP a bottle this size you don't need to pay eight dollars for that eight ten twelve well, however much in shipping that's stupid in my opinion killing us with shipping some of these companies just killing us and I don't want to hear no oh, inflation no, the post office, oh, they got to charge that. Maybe where you're at, but not here in the southern states, okay? Southern U.S., South Carolina, North Carolina, so on and so forth. Tennessee, all that. Georgia, no. Not how it works. And uh, I had, I had a splash in there with it but I took it out because I realized I had to get something else somewhere else that I had to have so because it was going to be eight dollars with both okay seven something fine because splash and that's over a pound I get it but 
Then I took out the aftershave and my shipping cost went down in half, almost in half. I think it was six something with the aftershave and the EDP, which is still cheaper. So. Yep, a penny pinch. I like, I mean, if something's seven dollars cheaper somewhere else and it's the same thing what are you gonna do you're just gonna buy it and say to hell with it i'm not i don't have it like that okay that's so why i'm very thankful for my sponsors this is a sponsored shave review but I do give them business. I just don't take what they give me, make videos and forget about them. I actually do give them business. So. And if I don't give other sponsors business, it's because their scents are too light or their base isn't great or something like that. It's, I mean, the reason why. I don't like light scented soaps, so just don't. And this is not one of them. This is a very nice boozy banana accord. Very nice. Don't really care for this blade and this razor because I, I should be BBS right now. I mean, it's smooth, don't get me wrong, but with other uh, razor blades, that I've, I don't know which ones I've used in this, but with other ones, I'd already been pretty much done by now. I still have quite a bit on there. And I didn't even have much growth to begin with. But once I go against the green, it'll be gone, but that's besides the points, okay? Like with the tree platinum, that would have been gone. I'd have just been doing touch-ups right now. I love this scent. Really nice scent. I'll show you the lather. Look at that. Any more wet, it would probably just uh, fall off as soon as you attacked it with the razor. But I'd rather it fall off my head fall off the razor, fall on the floor, then clog up my razor. And yeah, but this right here is a perfect lather for me. I don't like them super wet, the way they look like soup. I don't like that. I don't like them <clears throat> where they're so dry, you can't even clean out your razor with like that. If you can't do it that quick, I don't like, I don't like the consistency if you can't clean it out quick. Okay. Gotta be very careful with this because against the grain with this SB90, it is very efficient. It's a good blade. I just don't prefer it in this razor. Doing pretty good, decent. But like right there would have been BVS with almost any other blade. I don't know if this is a dud. I don't know. There we go. Finally, like seven passes. I'm not gonna risk the irritation for BBS. I'll just shave later. Like tomorrow or something. After my face shave. So it doesn't come off BBS smooth in the first or second stroke. 
guy right there. And you keep attacking it, you're gonna have irritation. Really bad. Picking up the four horsemen from Barrister and Man, and which one are you getting? Comments below. Are you going to pick up this scent? Comment below. Highly recommend it. razors as well. Oh, nice one. Okay, I got a little right here. Visual slickness test. Uh, I think I might do my death row shave tomorrow tagging myself since none of you assholes tag me that's fine I'm just playing I don't give a shit I tag myself okay I'll just tag myself and I'm gonna tag Jimco and I'm gonna tag his name. Shit. AA Shave Shaving? Yeah. AA Shaving. Aaron, I believe. The guy over in Pennsylvania. You know who you are. We did a samples trade a while back. Jimco, Aaron, and Josh over at Shooting the Shave. I challenge you three to do Death Row Shave, which is your last shave of your life before you get injected and killed. I gotta do some thinking about this one. This one would have been a good one for it, but too late now. Can't use it twice. So, it's not gonna be a new, newly released soap. I think I'm gonna use a, a really classic soap for that uh, shave. I'm just not gonna give any hints to what it is. use a classic or one of my I don't know I'll have to think about it I gotta pick a razor aftershave a soap and a brush and a blade that's hard to pick man really hard I don't know yeah that's gonna do me don't want any irritation. Still BBS. 
98% BBS. We'll roll with it. Running out of time. I'm not trying to make a 30 minute video. Who's all doing a Halloween shave? Comment below. And what's it gonna be? Um, since Halloween's on a Monday, I'm gonna pre-record mine because I'll be at work. I'm gonna probably do mine on a Saturday. Put it up on a Monday morning. Because I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so. Maybe in 2024 I'll have a Halloween off. <laughs> so I just don't have the time to waste out for Halloween right now. I just did a vacation, so I'm trying to save my time back up. But anyway, Southern Witchcraft, Boonana. Pick it up now while you can. Boonana after shave. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, man, the after shave is even better. Got a little puddle right here in my hand. I can't show you because I'll drop it. It looks like banana juice. It's weird. Pretty cool. It's not super white milky. It's like, I don't know. It's like banana juice to me. Like a banana milk color. Little sting. Which I went over a thousand times, that's why. But it went away. Off the aftershave, I definitely get that tobacco. The rolly, vanilla, hints of vanilla, some of the pumpkin, some of the cashmere in. It's really nice. I'm telling you, pick it up, you're going to regret it. If you don't like banana, don't pick it up. And the EDP, EDP, this is an EDP, parfum. Six sprays. Woo woo woo! Now oh, it's stinging a little. Anyway, that's the uh, icing on the cake, kids. So, if I exhausted this tub, would I buy it again? You damn right I would, because it's awesome. It's very different in a good way. You really get the booziness off the EDP as well. The booziness with the banana and a little pumpkin. That's what I get off the EDP. Anyway, kids, gotta go. Time is of the essence. Um, I'll probably post my uh, fuck. my uh, damn it. Train of thought left. Death row shave tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. All right, kids. We'll see you later. Have a good one. Don't forget go in the. Uh, don't forget to go in the uh, description and look at all that stuff. All right. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.